Hey everybody, um, welcome back to another test. This isn't more of a test as much as a review. Um, tonight, or this afternoon, however you want to look at it, I want to revisit something that I tested a few, I don't know, four months ago, five months ago, something like that. And it was DNS um, security. Now in my opinion, using an advanced DNS provider that provides malware blocking and faster speeds and all the associated things that come with that is the next big step in securing the internet because providing using a DNS service that has malware blocking built into it is basically like having a web guard for your computer without any of the slowdowns because all the work is done off-site on their servers and nothing is done on your computer so the better the DNS server is the better it can protect your computer so, how do I want to test this? Well, I have some links here. I have 16 links of malware. Um, new, old, you know, old by I mean like, you know, high detection ratios and all that. And I want to test the top three that are available right now. Um, and by the top three, I mean the top three that provide malware blocking. So, something like um, ClearCloud, Norton, and Komodo are the top three right now that are free and provide malware blocking. The other one, oh, I just can't remember right now what it's called off the top of my head. Alpha. It doesn't provide um, malware blocking. It does provide other services, but it doesn't. It's not as powerful as the other three. I just can't remember what it's called right now. For some odd reason. So let's go to their websites. Okay. Oh yeah, Open DNS. That's the one. So <clears throat> that one, in my in my opinion, is not really made for malware blocking. It's made for content filtering. So let's start out with Clear Cloud. easy just need to find their there there they are so it's pretty easy go to control panel and this on its network and sharing adapter settings right click properties and then you can use So now I am using Clear Cloud DNS. Okay? Pretty simple. You can see what it looks like. It's blocked. And there's your test. The test page. So let's get going. <clears throat> now these are going to be out of 16. Okay, that one was not blocked because I can run it. Now I'm not going to run this malware because I don't want to infect the computer. I just want to see if it blocks it. Okay, that one might not work anymore. So I'm going to delete that out of the test and we'll make it out of 15. Okay, that one was not blocked either. Okay, so that's blocked, so that's one. Okay, that's not blocked. And neither is that one. Okay, neither is that one. Okay, that one doesn't work, so we'll delete it and we'll make it out of 14. 
I haven't tested any of these, so... Okay, apparently... Wait a minute. Okay, so well, I accidentally got too many EXEs in there. Okay, that one wasn't blocked. Neither was that one. Neither was that one. So far, I think we're at one. That one's not working. Okay, I think that's two. And that one was supposed to be blocked. But none of the pictures are working for some odd reason. And that's three. Okay, so. <coughs> Excuse me. I think it was three out of 14. 14. So that's. Uh, Twenty one point four per cent. Okay. Now let's try Norton. Now Norton also just released a new beta um, where they offer the regular DNS service and now they're also offering a filter content where you download a program onto your computer and you can set up on what you want it to block not just malware but other websites like that but if you want to do just the regular malware blocking you can do it just the normal way so let's set this up So now we are on the Norton DNS. Okay, nothing on that one. Nothing on that one. Wait a minute. Hold on. Let me open this up again. Okay, nothing on that one so far. Nothing from Norton. Nothing there. Okay, so that's one. Two. These two might be identical, but too late now. Okay, it says that one couldn't be found. That's interesting. Uh, well, I'm not gonna count that as a block. But I'm not kind of I'm not gonna count it as a miss either.
Okay, that's three. And that's four. So we'll make that four out of 13. Because of that uh, oddball one up there. I know it won't be exactly 100%, you know, apples to apples, because I won't be testing a little bit different number, but what can you do? I couldn't find that one. <clears throat> so now, 30.8%. And now we'll do the Komodo DNS. So let's start up with the first one here. Okay, nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. nothing. Zero out of 14. So you can see <clears throat> that uh, Komodo DNS still has some room to improve. They definitely need to step it up. Now with um, their new acquisition of DNS.com, hopefully that will give them something to really work with and improve upon but right now at least with this you know small sample set that I had um, they're not doing too good on these so let's let me just double check make sure I uh, put the right numbers in there but I think I did 156, 154, 72, 2 yep so there you go that's my quick little uh, DNS update. So you can kind of see where everybody's standing. These are some real, these ones are real new, so um, real tough for a lot of DNS to find and block them. As you can see, the best was 30%. So there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Take care. Have a good afternoon.